All right, real quick before this video starts, make sure you follow me at 415 Kodai on Twitter and also GFX Comet. And we also got a Discord server. So uh, if you're interested, join. And I hope you enjoy this video. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another GFX Comet tutorial. I'm GFX Comet content creator Soren Key. And in this tutorial, we're going to be recreating this ninja themed UI. It's made by somebody called Toxic T O underscore X1C. So to start off, make a new layer, then get your eyedropper tool, select this brown colour. Then, go on to your pen tool, make sure it's on shape, the fill is our brown colour, and the stroke is off. So once you've done that, you just want to zoom in, and click here, and click here, and drag, and reset the curvature and click here and drag, reset the curvature, then click here and drag, reset the curvature, click here and drag, reset the curvature, click here and drag, reset the curvature, then um, we just Click here and drag. Click here and drag. No. Click here and drag. Reset the curvature. Click here. So now we have our um, shape for there. We got it like curved and stuff. So um, now we just want to hit Control J. Go to the bottom layer. Rasterize the layer. Then control T, just drag, actually no, just scale this a bit at the bottom while holding shift. Um, An image adjustments, e slash saturation, make sure it's black. And um, you just want it showing at the bottom. Just get our rectangles left and just right there. Now, I'm just going to make this you know, not an overlay. Just make it slightly transparent. It seems good. Um, then go on this layer, Control J. Bring this below that one. Um, Make sure to rasterize this one too. Then drag. Actually, no, scale it instead. Um, like so. Then we're just going to go to image, adjustments, e slash saturation, and just turn the lightness down. Control T. Go, say, it's looking pretty good. But you know, this isn't showing up at the bottom. Um, okay, we need to scale this up a bit at the top. So now that we've got that, um, back to the background, there's yeah, like our top part done. Well, we need to add like a wood texture. But we just make these two parts transparent and make it a new layer. Go on to toxic layer, get our eyedropper tool again. Select the brown color, like the wood cut. Then um, you just want to trace this with your pen tool. Make sure it's on shape. The fill is on brown, the stroke is off. So, um, now we're just going to trace over these wood parts with our pen tool. Like so. OK. 
Okay. So we've done that. What what are the ones are we missing? Um gee. So let me just see. Got that one there, that one there. Um okay, so need a few more cuts. So there is a cut here. So let's just do that one now. Trace it. Just like that. Um okay, there we go. We're just gonna do this small cut here. As you can see, we have our wood cuts. So we're just going to go on this. Now go to blending options. Then go to inner shadow. And just uh, play around with this, I guess. Uh, get it looking nice. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. Get this one, move it along a bit. So, that is our top part. We're going to add the inner shadows to these bits of wood as well. Um, so, just gonna make it small, normal. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, so, just add the inner shadows. In a shadow, and just put wood in a shadow, and in a shadow again on this one. But we're gonna have to make this small, seeing as it's just a small cut. Actually, no, I have to put the inner shadow on that one. Um, so now we have got. Our top part, we are going to just go below it and make the leaves. 